originally meant this as an inside joke. We all know that it's Quentin Tarantino that typically makes... He's, no, he's the guy that made this movie, Django Unchained. It's his thing. And we all know Tarantino is basically likes to go back to 1970s exploitation style. He likes the revenge porn. He likes the social justice stuff and the juiciness of it all. But the joke I always made was that it's Tyler Perry's Django Unchained. And now I think to myself, if Tyler Perry were to get jurisdiction and actually direct this kind of movie, remake it into his own style and aesthetic, how would it be? And I realize it's not going to be necessarily that different. Because while he isn't necessarily into the same kind of interracial revenge porn that is Django Unchained, it's payback against the massa. And this is a different story. First off, the main protagonist, Django, in the beginning of the film, is an African slave that got separated from his wife, Broomhilda by these white masters, along with other black slaves, y'all end up getting separated and put together into large conglomerates. And this is simple, because the conflict that Tyler Perry likes to draw out is a much deeper conflict at the moment in contemporary black culture. It's the interracial fight between light-skinned niggas and dark-skinned niggas. So Django would have to be a light-skinned nigga, and these masses are just the dark-skinned niggas flexing on them. So straight off the bat, all the antagonists that are white are automatically going to be reverted to thug, dark-skinned niggas that are abusing him, that are Disrespecting white skin guys, the soft, sensitive, bit on sheer, bishonen kind of guys. Meaning, these people that transcend, these males that transcend masculine beauty into this effeminate kind of appearance. And instead of having Samuel L. Jackson as Django, they obviously need. Michael Ely to play Django because Samuel L. Jackson is too aggressive and he's too dark skinned. And this Schultz guy, no, if you're gonna have a sidekick in a Tyler Perry movie, it has to be Medea. And seeing how the rest of this film plays out, it worked perfectly. It would be Tyler Perry's Django Unchained. Hmm. Okay, but they'd have to all convert to, they have, they all have to go to church in the end and have a big celebration. That's the only thing. Anyway, that would be the film in its entirety. And I still wouldn't watch it. Because instead of being a Tarantino film, which is bad, it'd be a... Tyler Perry film, which is almost as bad, if not worse.